The United States is on track to ship hundreds of so-called kamikaze drones to Ukraine. David Martin explains how this lethal weapon could be a game changer. There's a new drone on the battlefield. It's only six months old and video of it in action is still secret. This is state of the art. This is something that is very new. John Aldana is the program manager for the Switchblade Kamikaze drone. And this is the first time the tank killer version has been seen. So far, 700 switchblades, both large and small. This is our switchblade 300. Are being sent to Ukraine. We understand what the people in the Ukraine are doing. This is our part to help. These weapons, they are weapons, but what they're designed to do is stop tanks, stop artillery nests, stop what's going on over there. Why is it called a switchblade? Imagine all the wings are folded and it fits inside of the, the, this tube, right? So at the bottom, we have what's known as a gas generator. It pushes the switchblade out. Once it comes and it's clear to the tube, the wings automatically flip out and it happens very quickly. So it's just like a switchblade. In the nose are cameras which scan the battlefield, sending video back to an operator controlling the switchblade from a tablet. Once it finds the target, the operator has the ability to, to essentially dive bomb into the target and take out the target. One-way mission. It's a one-way mission. Kamikaze. Exactly. Armed drones usually carry weapons under the wings, launch them, and return to base. But the switchblade carries its own warhead and blows itself up. It is a one-and-done drone. Wahid Nawabi runs Aero Vironment, which makes the switchblade at a secure location he's asked us not to reveal. These crates are ready to be loaded with switchblades for Ukraine. We've been in touch with the Ukrainian military, and they could use thousands of them. The type of conflict they're engaged with today really is almost ideal for the switchblade capability. He's talking specifically about those long Russian convoys creeping toward the front lines. Switchblade can just literally take them out like popcorn. Literally. Is the enemy going to hear it? It's, it's very, very silent. It's very, very quiet. But if you look up, you can see it. Well, it's not easy, right? I mean, it's, it's, it looks big on a table with a black background, but when it's in the sky, it's very hard to see. But you can shoot it down. As far as I know, it's never happened. But the signals which control the switchblade can be jammed. And so far, only 100 have reached the battlefield. Still, the weapon has earned Wahid Nawabi a place, along with Vice President Kamala Harris, on the list of Americans Russia has sanctioned. It's not his first encounter with the Russians. I was born and raised in Afghanistan, and I left Afghanistan right at the beginning of the occupation of the Soviet Union in Afghanistan back in the early 1980s. So in some respect, this is um, very emotional and personal for me as well. At the age of 14, the oldest of four children, he learned what happens when the Russian army invades your country. I've been there, I, I know exactly what it's like. Life changes in a matter of seconds, uh, completely changes, upside down. And he remembers how one weapon, the American-made Stinger missile, helped chase the Russians out of Afghanistan. I vividly remember the Stinger missile. How so? I saw what it did to the Russian helicopters. Probably have seen a half a dozen of them with my own naked eyes get shot from the sky while watching from the ground. Now he wants to see Russian tanks destroyed by his switchblade drones. A capability that you cannot hear, you cannot see, you cannot tell where it came from, and boom, all of a sudden hits you, just creates havoc in your mind. Oh my God, what is this? What's happening to us?